the sun is shining and the snow is melting. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a part two for Dinner Lady e-liquid. Alright guys, yes, today is a part two for the UK e-liquid Dinner Lady. I really enjoyed their first flavors that they sent me, which were lemon tart, strawberry custard, maple waffle, and cornflake tart. They did send me three flavors that I already tried. I just mentioned lemon tart, cornflake tart, and strawberry custard. So I'm going to be giving away these bottles on this video. If you're interested in that, just stay tuned. But I'm going to try four new flavors today. The blueberry crumble. I also have orange tart, apple pie, and rice pudding. Now these e-liquids are a 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blend, available in 0, 3, and 6 milligrams nicotine. And on the website, I believe it's eliquid.com or ejuices.com, it's $25 for a 60 mil. Now let's just jump right into it. And the first one I'm going to try is rice pudding with jam. Oh, I didn't read that, with jam part. So I'm like, what, is this a uh, tapioca? Hmm, interesting smell. Because when I think of rice pudding, I just think of tapioca. So if it's not the same, I don't know what it is. I've never had it. Well, I can actually taste the jam part. It's like a berry, creamy, like almost a little tart, tangy vibe to it. But it is just like a smooth, creamy vanilla taste to me. Interesting, it's not a bad flavor, it's just... It kind of just tastes like um, vanilla pudding with that little hint of tarty berryness. Now these are zero milligrams because they do come from the UK and the UK has like the TPD and they have different regulations for nicotine and bottle size and everything. So they did send me 18 milligram. This is 100% VG. It's just Nick Nick. Um, I'm not going to use it because for one, I don't know how. I'm sure I could find out if I just read the directions, but I'm lazy like that. Um, but I think this is how they have to send out their nicotine. And I believe this is probably a 10 mil bottle. Yep, because they can't have um, anything with nicotine in it over 10 mils, if I am correct. So they do send these things for people who do want to use nicotine. But I am not going to use it because I don't use nicotine anymore if I don't have to. Next, I am trying apple pie. And I'm excited to try this flavor. It's one that I do enjoy vaping. Oh my god. Okay, so... This smells so much of green apple, um, just a little hint of pie scent. But um, this past year, I've had a really big obsession with apple flavors, so it smells like heaven. Because it just smells like green apple candy. Oh, good, okay. I was worried, focus camera, that the green apple was gonna be really strong and it wasn't gonna have much of an apple taste or a pie taste to it, but it totally does. It definitely has a pie taste on the inhale and exhale. You can get the crust, the flaky yumminess of it. There's like not much cinnamon, if any at all. Well, actually, the more I vape it, the more I am picking up on cinnamon, but the apple flavor is super prominent, really strong green apple, and I love it because I love apple vapes, so I'm into this flavor. As far as the apple to pie ratio, there's a lot more apple in this vape. Wow. I could vape this all day. I was surprised I was, because apple was like my thing in the summertime and it's not so much of a wintertime flavor unless it's like caramel apple, hot apple by cider or something. But this is actually a really good flavor. I freaking love apple, you guys. I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm liking apple more than strawberry. I could seriously just vape that flavor like all day long. Okay, next we are trying the orange tart flavor. Mmm, just really smells orangey and creamy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very orange cream flavored. Um, picking up very little like tart like the dough or the crusty flaky part of a tart would be, but um, really, really orange. Quite a refreshing orange taste too, but like I said, it's kind of masking the rest of the flavor, like the tart part that would make it the orange dessert flavor, and I'm just getting a lot of orange cream. Now there might be like a slight undertone of like a buttery flaky tart, but definitely mostly just orange. 
And the last flavor I'm going to try is actually I was probably most excited for this flavor, the blueberry crumble. And this purple is so aesthetic. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, ooh, what is this? So, oh, excuse me. This is blackberry crumble. Oh my God. Have I been saying blueberry this whole time? Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That smells so good like a freaking dessert. Ooh, so definitely a thumbs up for the crumble part. Now the blackberry is really sweet and a really, really ripe, sweet blackberry. Like sometimes if you eat blackberries too soon, they're a little tart, a little hard. This is like super soft, juicy, sweet blackberry. There's almost a blueberry vibe to it as well with that dark, juicy berry taste. And I'm living for the crumble. It's like, it tastes like the, you know, cause like a, a crumble is like bumpy and crusty. And those were like two not good words to describe something, but you know, like a crumble's uneven and just, <laughs> I need one now. I need a blackberry crumble. Mm. Ooh, okay. So I definitely enjoyed all of those flavors. The rice pudding one, I don't think I've ever had rice pudding, so it was just kind of like creamy vanilla pudding. And the orange tart was a lot of orange, but the apple pie and the blackberry crumble get two thumbs up. The apple pie is definitely my favorite, but if I'm going for my favorite of the line, you'd have to watch part one to find the very favorite of the whole line from what I think. And if you're interested in winning the three flavors that I have here, then all you have to do is comment down below what is the most you've ever paid for shipping when buying a vape product out of your country? Let me know because I just sent a vape package to a Patreon winner in the UK and it was $80 to ship it. And then when it got there, it was applied a custom fee of another $80 and that was ridiculous. And make sure to check the description box below for all important giveaway details. And I'll leave a link below to where you can check out their website as well as where you can buy them in the USA. But that's it for the video. If you've tried Dinner Lady, I know it's a really popular brand in the UK. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. I also have a Patreon account where I do monthly vape-related rewards like you can get e-liquids sent to you monthly or a mod sent to you monthly from me. So if that's something that interests you or you want to follow me on any of my social medias the links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please learn how you can fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia and thank you so much for watching